Hey guys, Jordan here, and in today's skateboard product review, I'm going to be doing a review on mystery skateboards. Now, this just doesn't include mystery skateboards, but I'm also going to be giving out information that generally talks about Black Box distribution. Uh, Black Box is run by Jamie Thomas, and they, he owns the brands Mystery, Zero, Threat, Slays. And I think those are the only board companies out of Black Box. So yeah, I know that I said in previous reviews that all skateboards, just normal 7.5 skateboards are pretty much the same. The point that I'm doing the review on this is for all those people that want to know those little details that make a little bit of a difference between each company. So these boards usually go for around $40 to $60. It depends on which one you get. You, the normal 7-ply standard deck would normally just cost around $40 and then if you get a high-tech board like they have sl slick graphics or P2 boards which is Kevlar, Kevlar top ply, those boards usually go for around $60. The shape of these boards, they have average shapes and cruisers. This one is a 775 and this thread board is an 8 inch and they both and the boards usually length to around 31 inches, just like an average sizing. The shape of these boards, the nose and the tail I find are a bit more pointed off and cone. So if you go to the ends of your board, you'll find that the rounding goes towards that a bit more. Rather than some board companies like to have a more broad nose and tail. So that's just the company's choice in shaping their boards. The shape for this mystery board, I find it it's quite mellow. It's got mellow kicks and mellow concave. You could feel the concave on your feet, but it's still an overall really mellow low shape. And for the thread board, it's pretty mellow too, but I would say it's a bit steeper than the mystery deck. So I'm pretty sure Black Box has a few different shapes for the pro riders, but these ones in particular are on the mellow side. Uh, Black Box just makes the regular seven ply decks and they do have some technology the only two technologies i can think about is the super slick bottom ply which is just a extra slippery graphic and they have p2 which is kevlar the same thing as what they have on flip plan b and i can't remember their creature those kind of companies also have p2 the weight of these decks are pretty average i compared the weight on the 7 ply deck to other boards and I can't really tell the difference there might be a bit of a different different in mass but it's really no big de deal when you're skating it. The graphic on black box boards I find are pretty nice. Uh, if you go to their website and their catalog and you look, look around different black box boards you'll find that the graphics are nice and colorful. Uh, most of them are pretty simple and they just look really nice to your eyes and like this mystery board, it's got a really nice simple graphic and it's just really appealing to me. Also, the good thing about these graphics are that they don't really chip off that bad. You can see some, the, gra the graphic is off a little bit here, but that's from sliding on like concrete stuff. But for the most part, these graphics stay on pretty well, they slide really nice, and they smudge out pretty nice as well. The plies are a little bit colored on this deck, and on all boards, I think there will be at least one ply colored if you really want some color on your wood. Now the performance of the deck, the main thing you want to know about is that these boards are actually pretty good. Like the performance, like the pop and everything is pretty average, I would say. It's got good pop, nice and crisp, and it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. One thing I found with this board though is that you do a little get a little bit of pressure cracks. Now, I don't know if the pressure cracks is fully through the wood, but it's definitely some cracks onto the bottom ply at least. Now, most boards do get a little bit of pressure cracks over time from the trucks being too tight, but I find that this board in, gener in uh, general had a bit more cracks noticeable for me. One thing too is that these boards I find chip quite, um, easily. I wouldn't say it's really easy to chip this board like right out of the bo box and start skating it, it's going to chip on you. But after some time, after some skating, the board will start to delaminate a little bit and chip on you. So I do have this kind of like area of my board where it's chipped up and the plies are splitting apart 
and that's when the board actually lost its pop so I could take it off. I don't snap boards, I don't skate hardcore, so I never really snap a deck in half. Uh, usually I have to change the board when the flies start to come apart and then it just gets all soggy from that. So that, that's the only thing about this board, but pretty much because it's wood and glue, it's going to happen on every deck whenever you skate it for a long time. So overall, mystery boards, zero boards, threat boards, black box distribution in general, they make pretty decent boards. I like them a lot. They have a nice shape to it. I like the nose and the tail. Uh, they're not too thick or not too thin. The weight is pretty average. The graphics are really nice. Probably the best thing about mystery boards and zero boards that I like is the graphics. And performance is good. The durability is okay. Once again, it does chip, but like every other board, it will chip. So yeah, if you like the shape, if you like these shapes, uh, I would say most of the zero boards are, black box boards are mellow. If you have a really sharp deck then, or intense concave, just let me know in the comments. But for, from what I saw, these decks are pretty mellow. They got cool graphics, got some color in them, really nice and simple. And you can't really go wrong with these boards, so go check out Mystery Skateboards, Zero Skateboards, Black Box Distribution. Thanks for watching guys, comment below on what you think about these decks. And let me know if you want to request any product reviews. Also subscribe and like this video because I do make lots more skateboard product reviews, and skateboarding tutorials, and a whole bunch of other videos that I post daily. So thanks for watching and peace. Uh, wind up your shoulders, unwind, when you get parallel to your board, pop it, get a really nice scoop with your back foot. Your back foot's going to want to be like constantly grasp, grasping the board and bringing it around the rotation while your shoulders lead your 360 and you shift your weight to, towards your sliding foot uh, and then once you make the rotation, you land.